Get those flowers ordered as soon as possible. We've got Michael March joining us from a Fresh Flora this morning to talk about flowers. Hey, Michael. Hey, Flora Fresh here in Sacramento, one of the largest wholesalers of uh, flowers and supplies here throughout the Sacramento area. I'm in a nice, cool area with some beautiful flowers. This is awesome. This is gorgeous here right now. And they're working hard. They got workers all around here working all around. It's like, like a beehive. It's unbelievable. But uh, there's a big game today, but a week from today is a big day. Also, Valentine's Day. Oh, my goodness. There's going to be a lot of flowers. 250 million roses have been uh, produced just for Valentine's Day this year. It is a $20 billion industry just for Valentine's Day. Two-thirds of all the floral uh, produced in the United States produced right here in California. But a lot of our roses, uh, we do have three growing regions. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I get to introduce him. Alan Nishida, owner here. The only Hi, guy Alan. that has Hi, a better mask than your produce man. <laughs> You're the only guy that has a better mask than me. I love your mask. Uh, I love yours too, Michael. And always your colorful vegetable fruit shirts. Yeah, so yes. we're talking roses. This has been an interesting year for roses. We've had a pandemic, right? So it's tough to get workers out in the fields to cut these things. Uh, worldwide, it's been an issue, right? Yep, the pandemic definitely has uh, affected the floral industry. But I must say, since Mother's Day, uh, the floral industry has been lucky to... Uh, be doing the business we are because there's so many industries that aren't as lucky as we have been and so we're in the middle of valentine's a week away and uh, it's going to be busy for everybody i cannot believe that alan let me in his place a week before valentine's day because it's crazy around here it can be really crazy now we get a lot of uh, we get a lot of flor uh, flowers roses especially from places like ecuador right correct there's still really good flower growers and rose growers in california but predominantly most of the rose production now is coming out of uh, Ecuador and uh, Colombia. It has a lot to do, just like with uh, growing uh, asparagus or anything else, it all has to do with climate. What makes Ecuador a great climate area? Uh, one, the temperature throughout the year stays steady, which is critical for getting a petal count, and that's why roses grown in Ecuador are much larger versus the temperature fluctuations we face in California, so you get a smaller petal count. That's a, that's a new term for me, petal count. Mm. I like that. And uh, look at some of the varieties of roses we have here. Uh, come over and check this out. I was really interested. Look at this, orange crush. Look at this. That's the variety of this particular rose. And look at that. Wow. That does look like orange crush. Oh, here's one up here. It's called, this is called a lemonade. Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. You got pretty. some beautiful, many different varieties of roses, right? Yep. yep, a lot of different colors. Throughout the year, most of the growers grow more colors than they grow red. And so there's obviously for Valentine's a big demand on red. So working hard to round that up. Big demand on big red. All right. So it's Valentine's Day a week from today. You better be planning uh, with the floral departments and the floral uh, companies all around Sacramento. You better get your order in now. Hey, back to you guys. Thanks, Alan, for letting us be here today. Thank you. Tell them I say hi. It's great, huh? Yeah, you bet. All right. Every year we put on the most low budget version of a halftime show. And this year, we were really scraping for coins, guys. <laughs> We are showing our halftime show that's coming up. Oh, yes, indeed. And also, Dina has found the perfect winery this weekend. Good morning from Oak Farm Vineyards in Lodi. If you are looking for a great way to spend a weekend or maybe celebrate Valentine's Day and get a little reservation early going, we have the perfect place for you. Coming up on Good Day, we'll take you out here to this gorgeous family vineyard in Lodi.